when did you get your car? I got it January, last year. January? Yes. That's a long time ago. You've been to his house after you got your car. According to you. According to what you said to me before. You've been to his house since you got your car. Sorry, ma'am. I misspoke. Not last year, this year. You've still been to his house since you got the car. According to what you told me before. You said a few months ago. January's a long time ago. I misspoke. I meant this year. I'm... I know this year. Okay. Okay. So you're with your friends and? And Mario came up to me and like said, give me your car keys, like threateningly. And? And I gave them to him. And he took your car alone? No, there are two other people. Where was Javier? Javier? Was he in the car? No. Did... What about Sergio? Was Sergio in the car? No, they have their own cars. No, did he get in the car? No. So who got in the car with Mario? A girl named Yuli and I don't know the other girl's name. Your two own. girls? Yes. Not you? No. Go. And they took off and it was around... 839 that Sergio ran up to me and said they got in an accident and my friend Rodrigo drove me to the scene of the accident and I saw the damage and Darren and Go! Your Honor, he's lying. It was Thursday, March 30th or 24th, I'm sorry and Yulisa wanted to go get donuts. Who wanted to go get donuts? Yulisa. And I never asked him for the keys because he was the one that was driving to the donut shop. I was the passenger she was the one in the back seat. We drove over there, we got the donuts, we're coming back to school, Andre's driving, his brakes don't work, he hits another car. He's panicking, he tells me that um, to switch seats with him. He wanted me to switch seats with him because he didn't want to get his car insurance, he didn't, he didn't want to get anything with his mother, he didn't want to... Um, I want to see a police report. I have a ticket right here stating that I didn't have a license because I took the fault for him. And it was a $400 ticket unless I got my license, which I did in, le in less than a month, and I paid $25. That's very nice. You told the police you were driving? Yes, because I took the fault for you. you're responsible for the accident. Then you're responsible for the accident, Mario. I actually don't believe a whole bunch of what he's saying to me. I, I actually don't know who was driving, but if you told the police, if you swore to the police that you were driving, you're responsible. You understand that? You lie. you got to tell it all the way through. And you paid a ticket. And you paid a fine, and you got your license. And your son is a fibber. Don't believe everything he tells you. Now, I want to see the police report. There was no police report. There's a collision report that clearly states that Mario was the driver. I also have pictures of the car if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. And a letter from my insurance company saying that they denied it because Mario was not an insured driver on my car. But Mario, Mario didn't gave have a, my insurance Mario company. Mario didn't have a license. Right. Okay. Now, what kind of car was this? The 2001 Toyota Camry. Where is the car now? <laughs> it's stalled in my garage. It's what? It's in my driveway. I'm sorry. It's stalled. It doesn't work. I'd like to see a photo of it. I'd like to see the estimate for the damage there. It's right here. Light it more. Just for my own information, would you take a look and see the value of the 2001 Toyota Camry? An LE. Your Honor, on May the 9th, I called Mario and I spoke to Mario and he admitted to me that he did it and that he told me he would pay for it as soon as he got money. 1525. Hmm? 1525. Judge for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,525. Thank you. Thank you.